there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. So have you ever heard really good news? You know, maybe there was something in your life that happened where you felt like everything was right in the world. Those moments are so precious. But good news doesn't sell, does it? Usually bad news sells. In our world, the news consists of lots of bad news, fearful news. And bad news and fearful news is addictive. We get addicted to bad news. But here in this passage, there is good news that is shared. This passage gives us something different. Now these shepherds are, aren't the people who would be used to hearing good news. They're living difficult lives. They're living in the fields where they have their sheep. And here they have good news. And they hear three things. They hear, do not be afraid. I bring great, good news of great joy for everyone. Now, do not be afraid is actually in the Bible over 300 times. There's a reason why us humans need to hear, do not be afraid. And it's because we're so used to bad news. We're so used to fearful news. Now, I have a friend many years ago, he was working in a national park and he didn't have any connection to, you know, his cell phone or the internet, the news. And he found this magazine and he thought to himself, you know, I wanna see what's happening in the world today. And so he read the news magazine and he realized that everything was really bad in the world. And then after he was done reading the entire magazine, he realized the magazine was actually seven years old. He realized he had been reading something from seven years ago. And he said it taught him a very important lesson that we will always be told bad news and fearful news. And our job is to bring the good news, to bring the joy to people's life. So this Christmas, amongst all the bad news, amongst all the fear, may you be a person who brings good news. May you bring joy. And then may you see Jesus. Amen.